Okay, gang, it looks like you have a quiz coming up. So this is a review on module 17 with uh, trig with right triangles, uh, the area formula and then law of sines and law of cosines. So here we go. So find the area of this triangle to the nearest tenth. Okay, do you remember the area? It goes one half um, uh, the product of the sides times the sine of 108 times the sine of the included angle, okay? So that's 18, a half of 18 is 9, so the sine of 108 is uh, about 0.9511, so about 8.6 uh, centimeters squared, okay? Don't forget area is always in square units, in this case centimeters, okay? All right, so find the measure of angle C to the nearest uh, tenth of a degree, okay? So here we have B and the side opposite, so we can use the law of sines, but we have this side that's opposite angle A, so we have to find angle A first using the law of sines. So here we go, so we set it up and, and um, the sine of 100 times 4, and then we divide it by 9 because we cross multiply and we get the sine of A to be about 0.4377, so we hit shift sine, inverse sine, so the measure of angle A is about 26 degrees, okay? So it's asking for angle C, so now that we know that this is 26, then we can go ahead and do the 180 trick in, the, in a triangle and find out that angle C is about 54. Okay, so find here angle C to the nearest tenth, okay? So here's angle C over here. There's no angles in here, so we can't use the law of sine, so we have to use the law of cosine. So if we're going to do the cosine of C, then we're going to say uh, this side squared equals this side squared plus this side squared minus 2 times this times this uh, times the cosine of uh, angle C. Okay, so here we go. And then uh, when we crank that out, we're going to get about, uh, let's see, um, uh, subtract 181 and then divide by 180, negative 180, and we get 0.65. So angle C is going to be the, the inverse cosine, so we get about 49 degrees right there, okay? All right, so I, I don't know what happened to... Uh, uh, what happened to my stuff there? Okay, whoops, I guess nothing there. All right, so here's angle, sorry, section D here. So I'll clean this up before my kids get in here. So find the area, okay? So first we've got to find an angle measure. So we found angle C from the, uh, the last lesson to be uh, 49.5 degrees, okay? There's another uh, uh, theorem that's called Huron's formula. But I'm not ready to introduce that to you just yet, So, um, and, um, but it's another way to find the area when we know just the sides right here. Anyway, so we found angle C in the last lesson, so we're going to do our area formula. So one half um, uh, this times this times the sine of this. So if we crank that out, we get about uh, the area to be, sorry, about 32.2 uh, uh, inches squared, okay? All right, so we had to find at one of the angles first, so we had to use the law of cosines first, and then once we got the law of cosines first, we can find one of the angles. We can find another angle if it asked us to solve for the whole triangle right there. We can find the other angle by doing a different uh, equation with the law of cosines. So, for example, I can say 9 squared equals 8 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 times 8 times 10 times the cosine of uh, this angle. And then once we found out this angle, then we could subtract it uh, from 180 with that angle right there to get uh, the third angle. All right, and then the last little piece, you're going to be asked to do this. Recall the area of an equilateral triangle. We discovered this in the first lesson. I think it was number four or five in our exercises. So if you have an equilateral triangle, the uh, the, the area is just the side squared root 3 over 4. Okay, if you are in my class, I'm going to give you that assignment. Take care.